Um, book group 164, um, our question was in simple harmonic motion. Um, we had 100 grams, of, we had a block which was 100 grams, which was attached to a spring, and all you knew was the spring constant was 2.5 newtons per meter, and at 5 centimeters, we knew the velocity was 20 centimeters per second. So, the first part of our question, which is part A, asked what the amplitude is. Omega, which is square root of k over m. Um, from this, we get the answer is 5 radians per second. To find the amplitude, we use this equation right here, which is the kinetic energy of the spring, plus the kinetic energy in the initial and the final kinetic energy. From here, we get to this point where we just cancel out the one halves because they're common in all three terms. And from here, we solve for a, where we divide all these terms by k, and then take the square root, which is exactly what we did over here. After doing this, we just plug in all, all the numbers we have, and we make sure everything is in the right units, like it's meters over here, and kilograms over here, and then meters again. And our amplitude comes out to be 6.4 centimeters. So, um, I am part B, which is we're solving for max acceleration. Um, in part A, we found omega, which is 5 radians per second. And then we also solved for amplitude, which we got 6.4 centimeters. And then to find the max acceleration, we use this equation. Um, we use omega squared times amplitude. So to s solve that, we pretty much just um, plug everything in. So five radians per second squared, and then times 6.4 centimeters and then we end up getting the max acceleration, which is 160 centimeters per second squared, or 1.6 meters per second squared. <laughs> So the third question, or part C, we had to figure out what the speed was when the spring was pulled or pushed three centimeters from the circumference point. For this, we would actually use the exact same equation that we used for part A, and that's the kinetic energy of the spring plus the initial kinetic energy equals the final kinetic energy. And then again, as Drew mentioned, we're just going to cancel out like terms, and we're going to come up with this, and instead of solving this for amplitude, we're going to solve for our velocity. When we solve for velocity, we're going to get this. We subtract this side over to here and then divide by mass. And then when we do this, we're going to plug in all of our units. We want this to be in standard units, so we're going to have meters instead of centimeters. So we just have to make sure that all of our units are the same throughout. And then since we have newtons, which is in kilograms, we have to make sure at the bottom here that we have kilograms as well. When we solve this, we get 0 0.2826 meters per second. And if we want to convert this back into centimeters, which is what our initial question was in, we're just going to get 28.26 centimeters per second.